What if I told you you had an opportunity to sit next to a veteran trader, someone who is an up and coming rising star, and you had the chance to sit with them for an entire week? A couple of years ago, I had the chance to sit with Roland Wolf. If you don't know who that is, he's a long biased trader trained by Timothy Sykes. He and I had a chance to talk. Make sure to go watch it. You'll learn a little bit more about who he is and what brought him into the trading game and why he's so successful. I want you to know that he makes mistakes just like you and just like me. And I saw him make mistakes pretty much every day. He made mistakes that typically you would say that there are rules that you shouldn't break, but he was breaking rules. He was, you know, you know, not really being careful with his risk, but he was still making money and still had consistency, which was something that really stood out because he didn't let his mistakes bog down on him. Like he'd make a mistake and then I would bring it up, but like, hey man, you shouldn't you not do that? He's like, yeah, but I did. And then he just continued to trade. And that showed me that he had resilience. He had some part of him that could easily see he made a mistake and then he'd stop it and he'd just continue to trade and keep pulling that trigger. He kept pulling the trigger when he saw his edge. He didn't hesitate. He didn't worry about a previous loss or something that happened. And in fact, I would watch him and I'd be like, man, veterans and, and successful traders and, and wherever you are, you're still gonna take losses. You're still gonna make mistakes but it's how you handle it. He did talk about it with me at the end of the day. He always talked about how he traded. He's like, man, I could have done better at this situation. Maybe I can do this next time. So it showed me that he was constantly evaluating his own trading. So he didn't forget about the lesson. He didn't forget about the loss. He just put it aside so he could trade in the zone, like trading in the zone, Mark Douglas, you remember, that book is phenomenal. It teaches you a lot about staying in the zone so you can be focused and present. But then at the end of the day, Roland, he would then review it. During that week, I saw a trader who was long biased, who was just buying things and, and killing it. He would watch a hot sector, let's say it's the marijuana sector, and it's just going like crazy. He would look for stocks that would be sleepers, right? Sleeper is something that isn't really active yet but it's showing some signs that this could be a mover. And he would buy those. And then all of a sudden, the next day, they would all be gapping up. And it just showed me, you gotta pay attention. Because if you pay attention to what's happening in just different parts of the market, and you narrow in on that and be like, everything is happening this way in the marijuana sector, you can look at that and kind of make a plan for the next day with another marijuana stock. So that really taught me that, you know what, there's power in being focused in a certain sector, especially when it's hot. And paying attention to the overall market has to be important too, right? Because if the overall market is acting a certain way and it's affecting stocks, that should affect how you trade that next stock. At the end of that entire week, there's one thing that really stood out to me. He was a normal guy. In fact, he, also has humble beginnings. I got to see how he was growing up, how he was growing through his help in his family, how he was trying to become better, how he broke his leg in soccer and then had to pursue trading. Like I saw someone who was working so hard to lift his family up and he wasn't someone who was just given this. He wasn't somebody who was just gifted, but he was someone who literally studied the market constantly. That's all he talked about. And that is what has helped him find his success. And if you don't know, make sure, as I mentioned, watch the interview I did with him because he recently crossed a million dollars in trading profits, which is astounding. The whole reason why I made this video is because I want you to know and get it out of your head that people are getting lucky that traders are just gifted, that everyone, that guy can do it, but I can't, because you can absolutely do it. I can do it, anyone can do it. You just have to be disciplined and be focused and just study and work your butt off. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, because I do videos like this regularly every week. Thanks again, guys.